Hey there, this is Isolde Trachtenberg. I hope you enjoyed today's Encore show. This is an Encore posting of the Self-Made Creative Podcast, as this show used to be called. New episodes will return May 29th with the inimitable Ryan Hayashi. Until then, if you like what you're hearing, please rate, review, and comment. Subscribe to the show so I can keep bringing you the best content for your creativity, your business, and your life. Hello, my loves, and welcome to today's episode of The Self-Made Creative. My name is Isolde T, and I'm super happy you're here. Here is where I explore what it takes to succeed at the crossroads of creativity and business. Today, it's an interesting episode. I'm coming at you right after the power came back during the mid-Atlantic snowstorm. Here's what's interesting about what I was thinking about while the power was down. First of all, my computer died right when I was doing, you know how you're going to hit the the hard return or the enter key for the very last thing you need before everything is all set? That's literally what I was doing. I was going to press it when everything went and went kerfuffled. And of course, I swore a blue streak because I was in the middle of this big thing. And then I had to step back and go, okay, what can I do to save what I had done. Luckily, I was able to fix it and make it all better. But still, in that moment, it's this no kind of feeling. And so the question becomes, what do we do? How do we prepare for the unforeseen if the unforeseen is here to kick our our butts, right? For me, today, it happened to be the, the power outage. But there are other issues. There are other reasons. There are other things that are happening in our lives at any one time that make us not prepared for what might come up. And so when the winds of fate decide to buffet us this way and that, how do we deal? I've read that phrase, it's better to be a willow than an oak, right? We've all probably heard it. Uh, Well, I can't say all, but many of us probably have heard that. And the idea here being that the willow is more flexible and will bend with the breeze, whereas the oak, while it is more sturdy, is more perhaps brittle and might break in a strong wind. And what we want to avoid is that that brittle feeling, that breaking feeling. I get that brittle feeling that I wasn't prepared for this, holy crap, when I don't sleep enough, I have to admit. So Ariana Huffington and I have something in common in that sleep deprivation or carrying a huge sleep debt is, we both agree, not good for you. So one of the ways to avoid feeling like an oak rather than a willow is make sure you get plenty of sleep. The other way, for the computer certainly, you know, back up your stuff. But what's interesting to me is once the worst happens, I mean the worst, relatively speaking, it was it messed up a document, it didn't end the world or anything. But once it happens, what do you do? How do you deal with the fact that all of a sudden the best laid plans of mice and men gang after Glay, right? What do you do? How do you deal with what you thought was going to be the case isn't the case. Why? Because suddenly the whole rest of the the day for me was no power. All the stuff I planned to do on all the business that I had to do, I had to do some contracting, all this other stuff. No, you can't do it. Why? Because there's no electricity. Luckily, I had some things charged, so I was able to just go ahead and do what I needed to do from a different tack. Instead of focusing on business, I focused on my creativity. Instead of focusing on contracts, I focused on copywriting. And I allowed that part of myself to play a little bit. I am currently doing a super secret Alexa skills project and am super excited about it. I'm not ready to share yet, but I will. Just a little teaser for all of you. But in the meantime, I have to be very circumspect and prepared and ready to switch gears completely from that part of myself that was business, business, business. Today was supposed to be an all business day with no creative stuff going on and switch it completely. So once I had gotten myself out of the, no, everything got all messed up place, I was able to go, okay, 
how do I do this? Well, for me, like I said earlier, enough sleep is key. But then I had to drop into meditation. I actually went and stood in front of my meditation altar. I lit a candle and I looked at it and allowed myself to sort of soften and meditate on it. And immediately what came to me was, if you're going through a long, dark night of the soul, light a candle in the darkness for someone else. And so I reached out to a friend I hadn't talked to for a while and made sure that she was okay because she'd been going through a kind of a rough time the last time we'd spoken. And that moment of lighting the candle in the darkness for someone else brought me way out of any upset that I'd had about everything getting all kerfuffled and brought me out of the business part of myself and brought me right into that part of myself that is compassionate, creative, and present. And I was able to begin work on my project in a way that felt real and true. It was wonderful, I have to say. So the next time you find yourself going, no, take a moment. A, make sure you've had enough sleep. And B, light a candle in the darkness. Sometimes you might want to do it for real, like I did. Light a candle and breathe. Look at the flame, watch how it flickers, and see if you can learn something from it. And as always, take the time to take care of yourself and then reach down and pull others up if you like what you're hearing please subscribe to the podcast leave reviews on iTunes tell your friends and I'd love to hear from you actually tell me what you do to light a candle in your darkness when you feel like no things have gotten all kerfuffled what do you do please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And maybe we can start some sort of a big document about what our personal light in the darkness is. That'd be really cool. In fact, I think I'm going to do it. Look for a what's your light in the darkness document that we can all add to coming at you soon. All right, my loves. Until next time, I send you all my love. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and please tell your friends about the community we're building here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright Isolde Trachtenberg 2019. Today's music was from Kevin McLeod, Laser Groove, and Avi Marimba, brought to you by Creative Commons License 3.0. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, I send you all all of my love.